And right now joining us is Hall of Famer Paul Pesca Salido, former Toronto Blizzard, Canada men's national team star, and also Birmingham City. Paul, talk about this great day for yourself, your family. And what I loved, as you mentioned, the two most important people in your life to help get where you're at today is mom and dad. Awesome stuff. Talk about it. Well, that's, that's why I owe everything to. You know, as a young kid growing up, my mom put me in the sport because she thought I was a bit of a loner. And she wanted me to, you know, get involved with other lads and... Um, from that first day, I never looked backwards. And, um, you know, they're great parents. Um, they sacrificed a hell of a lot to get me around the country to, to represent my country and, and play in Hamilton and play in Oakville. And, you know, my dad worked shifts to, uh, and got home early and took me four or five times a week to Hamilton from Pickering and Pickering to Hamilton four or five times a week. So I owe everything to them, you know. I'm, I'm truly grateful and uh, I've had a fantastic life. Um, and, you know, I've lived the dream, you know, a young boy growing up in Pickering, who would have thought I would have represented my country? Who would have thought I would have become a professional football and um, retired at the age of 42? It's, uh, it, it's stuff the dreams are made of, and I owe everything to them. And it puts a smile on their face. Didn't matter how many times they had to fill up the gas a tank for the car. It didn't matter how many late nights. It didn't matter how many missed dinners. It's all worth it because today you're being inducted into the Hall of Fame. But talk about when you represented Canada, Paul. You left it all out there, blood, sweat, and tears. And you would go through a brick wall for your country no matter what. What did it mean to you the first time you put that jersey on? Well, the honor is amazing. You know, you think of every kid in the, in the country, any kid who puts on a football boot, the, the ultimate is to play for your country, regardless of what country you're in. And uh, I was given that opportunity and I took it with both hands. And sometimes, you know, it got me in hot water because, uh, you know, I had my heart on my sleeve and at times perhaps my enthusiasm got the better of me and I did get sent off on, on a few occasions but it was only because I loved my country and I wanted to play and I wanted to win. I'm a, I'm a poor loser which, uh, which probably is not the greatest thing to be but um, I wanted to be successful but it, it's got me where, where I am today and like I said there is no better honor than playing for your country. What's the key success for this country to get back to the World Cup? They've struggled and they've struggled and they've struggled not only to get back to the World Cup but to develop players like yourself Jason DeVos, Paul Stalteri, Lyndon Hooper, we can go on and on. Guys have really wanted to play for their country and would do whatever it needed to take. Well, I think it's very important now that they look at the likes of myself and Stalteri and DeVos and look at these players who have been through the program from the ages of 14 onwards. We know what it's all about. And perhaps ask for some advice, you know. I think all of us, none of us would be, we would, we, at the drop of a hat, we'd take the opportunity to coach teams and, and, and mentor these children to tell them what it's all about and, and get them to learn of what it takes to, to get where you need to be. So I think it's time now that, you know, they look at these former players and get us involved in the program, you know. I think, you know, I would love to be involved in Canberra. I, you know, I've not made, I, I've not made any um, qualms about it. I'd love to be the next national team manager. I think, you know, we need to start looking within and, and, and looking at people who have done, been there, seen it, done it, have the experience, and look for us to, 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 to move on forward. I know it's, it's very prestigious to look at a, get a Brazilian or an Italian or a German, but realistically, we can't afford it. And realistically, they don't know what it's all about because being a manager in Canada is completely different. So we need to take the experience of these players like myself and these other lads we've mentioned who've you know, started from the early ages because we've done it and take their advice and, and perhaps you know, get them to, to, to move things further. You're spot on. Alex Bunbury said the exact same thing like you. The players of the past, like yourself and others, want to be involved. The Absolutely. CSA, if you're watching, get yourself involved. We want to be involved. There's nothing better. You know, this is a beautiful country. It's a fantastic. You ask anyone in the world, there's no better country in Canada. Uh, no better country than Canada. But... In, in terms of football, we're still a third world nation. We need to change that. And it frustrates me because at the early ages, when I was playing for Gilwood or Wexford or Scarborough Blues, we'd go on tours, 
to Italy, we'd go on tours to uh, to, uh, to England, and we would we would compete. Not only compete, we'd beat these teams. Mm. So we've got some fantastic young talent. But what we've got to do is to nurture that. There's obviously something that goes drastically wrong from the ages of probably 13 onwards, and we need we we need to look at that and see why it's happening. We need to we need to stop players like the De Guzmans, mm. like. Owen Hargreaves from defecting, Hoylet from defecting and, and going to become Dutch or going to become English. Because these kids, they're as English, they're as, uh, you know, Hargreaves is, in, is as English as I am. I'm, I'm Canadian. And what we need to do is, I know for a fact there's 10 or 15 kids a year that go to the UK, they're going in academies all over the country, and they're forgotten about. And we don't hear about them until they become professional footballers. But we need to get a database, we need to follow these kids, we need to make sure that when they're in these academies we're keeping contact and monitoring what they're developing into and that when, you know, if they do become what we think they're become, then bring them back, get them involved in the program. By all means there's going to be, you know, great prestige for playing England and Holland. But Ultimately, if you're Canadian, you want to pay for country. We need to make sure these kids, we don't lose these children. We don't lose these kids and we get them playing for our national team and not other teams and making them stronger. We need to make ourselves stronger. Love your passion, love your desire. We'll close it out with this. You got to give me a memory. Memory playing for Canada and a memory when you went overseas. What means so much to you still today? Well, the first time I ever put on a Canadian jersey was an absolute honor, you know, absolute honor. But winning the Gold Cup against all odds, it was... Um, it was phenomenal. No one would have given us a Cat and Hell's chance to win the Gold Cup, and we did. And that was truly magnificent. Playing in England, I had 21 years, uh, well, 18 years of, uh, of playing football. I loved every minute of it. I was at some fantastic football clubs. I've worked for some, uh, under some fantastic managers. And scoring goals, there's nothing better. You, you, you cannot ever recreate the feeling of scoring a goal. So. Uh, Great to see you after so many years. You broke my heart against the North York Rockets when you scored that overtime goal <laughs> over Paulo Ciccarelli at Centennial Stadium. God bless you. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. And again, we need guys like you, the guys of Alex Bumbry, the Paul Stolteris involved to help these young Canadian kids. We wish you nothing but success, Paul. Again, thanks for coming back home and congratulations, my Thank friend. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Cheers.